Show me a new button. Show me a new button. Eh? So troublesome. Wow, this one's super cool. I wish my dad could buy it for me. Hmm, that's if he can afford it. Anyway, that's about enough time to look at it. Oh, that's a nice phone. I shall have it then. Give it to me. I'll be calling your father later. Get out now. Better be worried about yourself first. I'll be fine. My father's the CEO of Brain Man Company. Miss Lam will be afraid of you. Dave, who are you talking to? I was talking to. Um, I'm just talking to myself. Let's see what you can say when your dad is here. Mr. Lim, please take a seat. Miss Yao? What happened to my son again? Dave has been showing off his phone in class and this is not the first time he's doing it. He knows that he can't bring that to school. Thank you, Miss Leung, for reprimanding my son. You may keep the phone for now. I'll be talking to him about it. But Dad, I want my phone back. Dave, I'll speak to you when we get home. Thank you, Miss Leung. So sorry for the trouble. Dave? I'll be cutting down your pocket money from $10 to $0.50. Cents. That's not fair! You had my phone taken away, and now you have my pocket money taken away. What am I going to tell all my friends? That my father's so poor? I don't care. I'm having my $10 allowance. No, Dave. The reason for me to do this is simple. I want you to realise that kinship is more important than money. I don't care. You might not understand this now, but this value will bring you a long, long way. When I grow up, I'll make lots of money, so that everyone has to bow down to me. Dave, I'm so hungry. Why are you eating? Let me see. Wow, only 50 cents? I thought your dad is a CEO. So what? That's my business. You shut up. Whatever. Your dad is not even a CEO. You must be lying. He can't even afford his son's pocket money. Only I can scold my father. Miss Leong, is the boy alright? Luckily the boy is alright. I'm so so sorry for the trouble yet again. However, Dave needs to learn to control his temper. But he insulted my father. My dad is a CEO and no one insults him. Dave, you need to learn to be humble. Nobody owes you a living because your father is a CEO. Like I said, you need to control your temper. Yes, Miss Leong is right. I'm so sorry for the trouble again, Miss Leong. I'll talk to him when we get home. Hey, so how? What are you going to do? Uh, we'll see how it goes. Hey man, I got some jobs hiring management level. Do you want to give it a try? Let me think about it. My son is my priority now. I need to spend more time with him. Do you got any other jobs with uh, flexible timing? Eh, hey, I think I got one. Flexible timing, you get to choose how much you want to earn. But I'm not sure if you want it. Hey, isn't it a dad? I knew it. He's not a CEO. He's just a taxi driver. Shut up! My dad is the CEO of Brain Man Company. Why don't you see it for yourself? That's impossible! Wait, this! I can explain! <gasps> Who exactly are you? Didn't I tell you, if you continue what you are doing, you will get your dad into trouble. Can't you just tell me who are you? I'm somebody you know. By the way, your dad got fired because he had to miss an important meeting when you had a fight in school. What? You want to know who I am and why I know? But you might not believe what I'm going to say. I think I come from the future. That's impossible! Well, mom passed away when you were four. Your favorite food is chicken rice. 
and there's a mole on your right bottom. I don't think you want me to show you that. Believe me now. So what am I? I mean, what are you doing here? During my time, I hated that. I didn't talk to him ever since I saw him driving a taxi. I thought he lied to me that he was a CEO. But recently, that passed away. I got to know from his friend that he was indeed the CEO of Brain Man's company. Dad tried to explain to me, but I refused to listen. I regretted not talking to Dad, because now I wouldn't have the chance anymore. I'm sure you wouldn't be happy if Dad leaves you, right? So that's why I'm here. I'm here to change myself. I don't want you to regret like what I did. I hope that if I can change the past, I can change the future. Okay. What can I do to change all this? Very simple. All I want you to do is just three simple things. What are they? Number one, make sure that is well fed. Number two, make sure that is comfortable. And number three, make sure that is well loved. Hmm, how am I gonna do all this? <sighs> Gone again? That's Number one, make sure that is well fed. Just for that. Here, for you, Dad. Wow, why are you so nice to me today? It's your favorite chasu you rice. Enjoy! Okay, I guess I should say thank you. Two, make sure that is comfortable. Wow, son, why are you so nice to me? Number three, make sure that is well loved. Actually, Dad. Yes? I just don't want anything to happen to you. Wait for me! I want to say thank you! Here, wait for me!